Hey guys, I just wanted to talk to you a sec about high density gardening and why I do it and why I think it's so important. Um, so these are my cucumbers. And this section is maybe about, oh, 10 feet wide, I would say. And I think I have about 15 plants planted here, if not more, but probably around that. And anything that you would read would say that that's too many plants per per section. And uh, if I were growing on them on the ground, yeah, they'd all get intertwined and tangled up. But the reason I do it, especially where I live here, I'm, I don't know if you can tell from where I'm sitting, but I'm on a hill which drains downward. And then there's a great big hill behind this. And if you can see behind it, the field, which is yellow because everything is dead because... It's summer and it's hot and there's not a lot of rain. But here, even the grass I'm sitting on is green. I don't water this. Um, the garden I do water in the mornings. Um, but because I have all the plants so close together, they don't actually dry out quickly. So it actually keeps all of the water in the ground right close to the plants. And I do the same thing over in my other garden. It's my tomatoes climbing up the trellis. <laughs> Coral, you're a goof. And then the peppers are all very closely packed together. Everything I do, I pack close together. And it just, it really does help with not having to water as much and, and actually helps with weeds because there's so much cucumbers growing here that it shades out anything that tries to grow underneath it. So as long as I start with a fairly weed-free bed, it kind of keeps it that way through the year. And that's the same as over there. So even on the rock trails that I have and underneath the plants, it's very minimal what ends up growing in there. So I don't spend all my time kind of weeding things out. Um, and I get, like this is, I just picked about seven of these off these bushes. So these guys are only, some of them are only three feet tall. Some of them are four, four and a half feet tall. But I get, that's a big, big cucumber. Because they're on trellises, it's actually, you don't get any of those flat yellow sides or anything either. Um, so, that's why I high density yield. And for small spaces, it's kind of the best way to get the most for your time and effort. So happy gardening. Try your high space yield garden next year if you're going to start planning um, your garden from the fall, which I always recommend. Do it. Do it in the fall. You knew what grew well this year. You know how to prep your gardens for next year. And then next year you can start growing stuff before the, the snow has even melted. So plant it now and grow it early next year.